Contestants, start your treadmill. Today, we are going to be answering trivia questions around uh, sports, athlete, athletics, walking? Exercise. Exercise. It's between two in my head. It's definitely between two, and I think we're all in the same boat right now. I really thought this was a gimme. If you get a question wrong, something bad's gonna happen to you. I'm kinda dying over here. Thanks to Nordic Track for sponsoring this video. Treadmill trivia. The only mill that Mills tread. Ned, how are you feeling? I'm doing it! Here we go! It's another episode of Try Guys Game Time! Okay. We're gonna take a little mindfulness break and do an iFit workout. iFit has a huge variety of workouts from yoga to HIT to strength training, and of course. Running. Running helps me relax. It helps me have more focus and clarity. So what's great is that your trainer actually has devised a workout that takes you through actual landscapes. Teeming with wildlife. I love these workouts because everything is taken care of for you. They adjust the speed, adjust the incline. I was just doing a soccer workout with Alex Morgan. Pretty cool. It's also great because there's a leaderboard on the side. You can see all the other people. It both motivates you to keep doing it because you're not alone, but also you can kind of compare yourselves against them, be encouraged to go a little harder, work yourself a little bit more. We're gonna do a little mindfulness workout to make mindfulness a movement. In this session of the Mindfulness Series, we'll focus on how to cope with stress and anxiety. It's a guided meditation as well as an exercise. I love that. That was nice. I do feel calmer. Yeah. Click the link in the description below to get the code to get $75 off of your Nordic track. Now back to the trivia. Welcome to Extreme Trivia, the show where you better get the answer right or face the consequences. Today's competition will be split into three rounds. In round one, when you get an answer wrong, we're gonna increase the incline. In round two, for every wrong answer, we will be adding layers and weights. And finally, in round three, we're ramping up the speed. For whoever wins today, we have a very special prize waiting for you outside. Contestants, introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Ned, I'm six foot 72, and I'm ready to party. You're six feet and 72 pounds? <laughs> yeah, 72 inches. Very tall, slender man. Hey, I'm Eugene, I'm from Duluth. I got three cats, and one day I'll probably have yours. <laughs> hey, I'm Keith, I'm sort of the brains of the group, and I'll see you outside. <laughs> This is a, 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 a quiz show, so we're yeah. being game show contestants. Good energy yeah. so yeah. far. Round one, easy. These are the easiest questions I got. Question one, which body part has the strongest muscle based on its weight? A, the jaw. B, the heart. C, the tongue. <laughs> or D, that booty. So we have to pause to write our answers down, so let's do that. Well, based on weight. All right, I have a guess. I have a guess too, I'm gonna start walking again. Uh, I'm guessing the tongue. <laughs> That's a good guess. It's also like, the lightest, I think, right? Yeah. I guess the heart, we use it the most even when we're not actively trying to. It's a good one. Not for love for survival. And I chose jaw, because mostly the jaw is bones, but the muscle is probably pretty small, but it's pretty dang strong, if you ask me. We all have different answers. Oh, could cool. be anyone's game. Well, chomp, chomp. Keith, you win this uh, round. Oh my god, I did it! I'm in the lead. This is probably the only time I've ever been in the lead in a trivia contest. Ned Eugene, hit that incline. Oh boy. The strongest muscle based on its weight is the masseter. With all muscles of the jaw working together, it can close the teeth with a force as great as 55 pounds on the incisors or 200 pounds on the molars. Dang. I bite my tongue all the you time. You bite your tongue, it's not like your tongue's just smacking it right back. Although the tongue heals real quick. Mm. Question two. Oh, this is totally a trick question. Which of our body parts contain no muscles for movement? Is it A, your fingers? B, your clavicle? C, your rib cage? Or D, the forehead? No muscles for this is, no an this is an anatomy trivia. This is a movement. Oops. <laughs> you said it's a trick question? Well, no, 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 don't, don't overthink it. I, now I'm overthinking it. <laughs> I had an answer and now I'm very much questioning it. I mean, like if it's your forehead, because your forehead doesn't like move, but obviously your forehead moves. 
Your Dance clavicle moves? Forehead. What's your clavicle again? Clavicle's the gorgeous bone here. Oh, clavicles are hot. I can actually fart, make fart sounds with this. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Wow. All right, well, we're gonna need those answers. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going with rib cage. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, it doesn't move. I'm moving it right now, though. Are you or are you moving your muscles around it? Isn't that the same thing? I don't know. The question is complicated. Well, I was gonna guess clavicle, and based off of your dodginess, I changed it to forehead. Well, I just wrote clavicle because they're so sexy. Such mm. a beautiful clavicle. Sex. But I can move it. I just farted with it. Well, fellas, <laughs> movement in your fingers, which is quite precise, is brought about by the concentrated actions of tendons, bones, and muscles present in the palms of our hands. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. The muscles in our fingers are completely unrelated to motion. They are tiny erector pili muscles to help make the hair on your fingers stand out straight. How about that? What? My fingers don't have muscles in them? They do, but they're for the hair, not for movement. Then why are my hands so big? EJ right. and I were up to incline 20. I'm up to 10 Keith now. is up to 10. This is pretty freaking steep. Approximately how many steps does the average American adult take per day? 10,000, 7,000, 5,000? 3,000. Uh, I'm gonna give you a piece of information. This is pre-pandemic. This is a 2010 study. Average American. Average American. Do you guys know how many steps you're supposed to take a day? Yeah. 5,000. I'm going with 5,000. I'm doing 7,000. Ned, Keith, keep your treadmills where they are. Oh. The answer is 5,000, oh, Eugene. God. Americans, why, why won't you walk more? <laughs> you're supposed to have 10,000 a day. I try, I try so hard. All right, fellas, which of these statements is true? We got three lies and one truth. Okay. A, the more you sweat, the more calories you burn. B, the gluteus maximus, ya booty, is the largest muscle in the human body. C, sit-ups will help you lose fat around the stomach. D, muscle turns to fat when you stop working out. I thought all these were true. I'm going with B, big booty boy. They tell the truth, baby. I'm also going with that booty. And I'm also bringing the booty home. Booty, 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 booty running everywhere. Booty, 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 booty. Yeah. yeah, booty. After round one, we've got Keith in the lead, Ned taking up the middle, and Eugene in the rear. Eugene in the rear? <laughs> That's a good Saturday night for me. Round two, fellas, can we increase the speed? Okay. All right. Three miles an hour. Woo. We're flying. Woo. In this oh, Eugene round. went to eight. <laughs> That's too fast. Hey, I'll lie. Tremble trivia, baby. It's too loud. Exercise releases endorphins, of course. Which of these activities does not also release endorphins? Hmm. Hey, getting drunk. B, sex. Nice. C, stress. Or D, laughing. Ha 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 ha. What could it be? I don't know. Let's get them. I think it's getting drunk. Everything else is kind of physical. I also think it's getting drunk. Well, I disagree. I don't have stress. I think getting drunk can be fun from time to time. It makes me feel good. I have a great time. All of these release endorphins except for A, getting drunk. <sighs> Low to moderate. Yes. Not heavy drinking releases feel good endorphins in the brain. How about that? Where do these go? On your ankles, I would assume. Let's get them ankles being hot. <laughs> I'm putting them on my wrist because I don't want the heavy ones on my arms. I want them on my feet. Feeling good. Who's a strong boy? I'm a strong boy. Who's a strong boy? I'm a strong boy. Who's a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl. Nice. Laughter is the best medicine, but it's also exercise. Laughing 100 times is equivalent to which of the following? Eight minutes of jumping jacks, 11 minutes of hiking on a 30 degree incline, 13 minutes on the rowing machine, or 15 minutes on an exercise bike? A hundred laughs? A hundred should be the fittest boy. A hundred laughs? Should we test it? Nice workout, bro. <laughs> All right, I have a guess. I'm gonna go with, 
hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I guess jumping jacks? I also said jumping jacks. Seems the easiest. Laughing gives your diaphragm and abdominal, respiratory, facial, leg, and back muscles a workout. That's why you often feel exhausted after a long bout of laughter. You've just had an aerobic workout. They estimate that laughing 100 times is equal to 15 minutes on an exercise bike. Let's Dang. get some weight. That was my second guess. Fart, fart, fart. We're gonna upgrade you to the heavier ones. Okay. Do you have Hold to be on. like? I'm not ready for you. You have to be laughing really hard or very slow on a bike. <laughs> I mean, 15, 100 laughs is a lot of laughs. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this episode of Try Guys Game Time. <laughs> Ooh. Approximately what percentage of runners listen to something while on their run? Ooh. 82%, 75%, 61%, 61%, or 53%? Hmm. Uh, I guess 61%. I guess 75%. Well, I went with the 82% option because every time I see a runner, they're plugged in. Rachel, can we get a onesie for Keith and a weight upgrade for Eugene? Oh, oh thank you. No. Does that mean Ned's in the lead now? Ooh. Yeah. According to a 2016 survey conducted by Runners World, 61% of runners polled said they listen to something while on a run. Pretty sure these don't fit me. Seems right. But we'll try. What they don't mention is I don't get a break. <laughs> How you feeling, Ned? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm back. And my wrists are swollen. Oh, God. I'm hot. Woo. And the final question of round two. What is the most physically demanding job in America? Whoa. A, dancer. B, firefighter. C, construction laborers. Or D, roofer. Okay, I guess something then, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go roofers. You're walking up and down, you're on an incline all day. Santa must be so fit. And I went with construction. Judging by my standardized testing skills from high school, whenever there's one odd duck, it's either obviously wrong or suspiciously, surprisingly right. So I'm going with dancer. Keith, I love your logic. But Unfortunately, mm. Eugene, Ned, you're putting on the onesie. Uh, Dancers require the greatest amount of stamina, flexibility, and coordination. Uh, roofers are at number seven, construction at 17, and firefighters at 16. Yes! All right, let's get you all on these onesies. We're gonna do a quick sprint. Onesie sprint in three, two, one, go! Ah! Oh, this is fast. Welcome back, my adorable little dinosaurs. Hey. Rawr, 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 rawr. At the end of round two, Ned and Keith are tied with Eugene bringing up that caboose. It's time for the final round. In this round, every wrong answer will be accompanied by a speed increase. And as a reminder, for the winner, there is a special prize waiting outside. And the winner gets to decide if they want to take it or if they want to give it. Wait, is it a pony? Is it a pony? Is Did you get a pony, a, Rachel? Is it a pony? You got My. us a pony? No way, God. it's a pony. It's a pony. It's a pony. It's a pony? I've been asking for a pony since forever. It's I like guess a the punishment? responsibility of a pony is pretty intense. It's not a pony. Which is considered the strongest animal in the animal kingdom? A pony! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say big pony. <laughs> a, grizzly bears. B, rhinoceros beetle. C, anaconda. Or D, the dung beetle. Relative to its size then, huh? I didn't say that. Like you'd think it'd just be grizzly bear, right? Right. But maybe, it, maybe, but they, there's maybe they are beetles. trying to but, yeah. trick us. I have my answer. Going by the dancer logic, it would just be grizzly bear. I'm guessing dung beetle. And I know dung beetles, they make really big balls of poo. Do they eat the poop? What do they do with the poop? They roll the poop. Why? Because, because they gotta they, take it somewhere, they bro. They love poop. They gotta What's, get it to their house. Don't kink shame the beetle. They gotta grab all the poop they can. I also went with the poo poo bug. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the poo poo bug was a pretty good answer. I went for the rhinoceros beetle because I figured that's why they named it rhinoceros. Hey, hey, why are you guys not like running? a rhinoceros? Oh, yeah, we should be walking. Sorry, we should be walking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, we, we got excited. And then, uh, Ned, if you could ramp it up. Oh, no. The Who? Poo poo bug. <laughs> the poo poo bug can live to objects yes. that are more than 1,000 yes. times heavier yes. than its body weight. Yes. Second place is the rhinoceros poo, poo, beetle, bug. Uh, poo, which poo, can do 850 size signs. 
Uh, I feel Ned. Already over it. The onesie and the weights. Uh. How was the first sports bra prototype made? Ooh. By modifying a corset boussier. By sewing two jock straps together. Mm. By using a circular elastic band. Or D, by reinforcing the underside of a brassiere with tape. What does a sports bra do? As a German philosopher once said, titties are the balls of the chest. <laughs> Two jock straps, please. <laughs> I also guess jock straps? Uh, I guess compression band, it's probably wrong. Uh, <laughs> titties are, in fact, the oh, balls no. of the chest. Yeah! <laughs> Two jock straps, Nick. Faster! <laughs> No. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Keith, between the poopal bug and the jock straps. Gross. All right, let's get to the next question. <laughs> what is the meaning of the root word for gymnasium? Uh, A. I don't know. Academy of Strength. I don't know. B. School for naked exercises. C. Devotees of physical beauty. D. Tournament of natural excellence. Uh, oh, I'm pausing this mother. I went with D. <laughs> There's too much to write. D. I've sent you a naked mole rat because you've been accepted into the school for naked exercise. <laughs> You're nudist, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I said A, strength. You ever watch gymnastics? They're strong. The history of the gymnasium dates back to ancient Greece, where the literal meaning of the Greek word gymnasium was school for naked exercise. Oh my god. Oh. All right, I'm up to eight, and this is a full-on run. It's not a sprint yet, but it's definitely more than a jog. Is this the final question? Okay, what's the let's score? just get to the next question. This Rocket, is 4. the 5. final question. Now, Ned, you have been mathematically eliminated, but you're still on the line here. If you get this wrong, you're going to be running at full speed, brother. Uh, and at this final question, Keith is up by one point. <sighs> Here we go. Enough with the expositions, Zach! <laughs> this is a great time to remind you, if you're not oh subscribed to our channel, please oh go ahead and subscribe. And no. by the way, thanks again so much to Nordic Track for sponsoring today's oh episode. Um, I'm at yeah. Diddy on all the socials if you want to give me a follow. Would really appreciate that. And have you called your parents lately? Just Tell subscribe and ring the bell. Let's move on. Final question. What is the literal meaning of the origin of the word muscle? Is huh? it a, a Latin term, musculus, for little mouse? Mm. Greek term, manthropos, for males. Mm. The Latin term, machismo, for masculine. Mm. Or the Greek term, mythikos, for mighty. Uh, I'm guessing at random! <laughs> I mean, I think it's musculus, because it sounds like muscle, but like, little mouse? Really? I right, went with D, the mighty one! Little mouse. The other ones? Too, too male. I guess musculos. Ancient Romans thought that flexed bicep muscles resembled a little mouse. Oh my god, I was right. Oh my god. They musculos. Musculos. Oh, After all of our rounds, Eugene, Keith, you are tied. Oh, what does that mean? Ned, you lose. Oh. Shucks. Well, I guess I. Should probably stop this. Can and, you stop running? <laughs> and uh, and just you know, we should show off the product at full speed oh just for God. a second. Oh, here we go! Bring on the twelve, baby! Oh God! Oh God! It's fast! Thanks to Nordic Track for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description to get seventy-five dollars off your Nordic Track today. God, this is fast! This is really not the most efficient way to travel. Open your eyes in three, two, one. You get a pony! We've gotten you, oh boy. Uh, we got you guys an ice bath. No. Keith, Eugene, are you accepting or giving? Giving! Then get in that ice bath! Yeah, this will be good for your muscles, Ned. It's terrible. It's gonna be so good. Here I go. Go, Ned. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Oh! oh. 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 Wow. Oh. We'll see you next time for more Extreme 
the terrible trivia. Thanks to Nordentrack for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's another edition of Try Guys Game, game time. time. And the trivia, when we do trivia, that Extreme type of game time. Trivia. Extreme trivia. Extreme trivia.